That stunningly harsh sentence for a Texas teen arrested for selling brownies laced with pot. Jacob Lavoro now faces a possible life sentence, and ABC's Ryan Owens has more on this punishment that doesn't seem to fit the crime. This morning, 19-year-old Jacob Lavoro from just north of Austin could be facing up to life in prison for allegedly baking and selling pot brownies. I don't understand it. Joe Lavoro can't believe prosecutors have charged his son with a first-degree felony. If convicted, this former high school football player with a clean record faces five years to life behind bars. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I'm a conservative. But I'll be damned. This is wrong. So I've been doing this 22 years as a lawyer, and I've got 10 years as a police officer, and I have never seen anything like this before. Prosecutors say the charge is so severe because of Lavoro's brownie recipe. You see, he didn't use regular pot. He allegedly mixed in hash oil. Under Texas law, that THC oil can be treated like a far more serious narcotic, ecstasy. What's more, because a few drops of oil were cooked in, police weighed the entire brownie batch, sugar, flour, butter, and charged him with possessing a pound and a half of drugs. If he did something wrong, he should be punished. But to the extent that makes sense, this is illogical. I'm really upset. Lavoro has pleaded not guilty. Prosecutors are not backing down. The teen is due back in court next month. For Good Morning America, Ryan Owens, ABC News, Dallas.